is here we go again mysterious pneumonia tears through schools in china with many hospitalized in echo of early days of covid a lot of people are going insane on social media particularly to this laura send this out what are the odds that just one week after Biden met with Chinese dictator, hmm? Democrat Party mega donor, China is now announcing another cough like illness that is tearing through China just in time for the 2024 election. Joe and did the same thing in 2020. I don't want to go into conspiracy theory. When I take a look at this, uh, this is shocking. This is not actually what we want to talk on this video. What are voters saying about the job President Joe Biden has done as president? Jake, the country has soured on Joe Biden. There's just not another way to put it. According to our latest CNN poll conducted by SSRS, a national poll uh, gives us this snapshot in time. Biden's approval rating is 39% in our poll. 61% disapprove of the job he's doing. Look at it by party. You see that even among his fellow Democrats, he's only at 77% approval in this poll. Only a third of independents approve of the job he's doing. And of course, as you might imagine, only 5% of Republicans. How are things going in the country today? Uh, badly, say nearly three quarters of respondents in this poll, 72%. Things are going badly in the country today. Only 28% say they're going well. Again, that astonishing number on whether or not Biden has the stamina and sharpness to serve effectively as president. Only 25% of poll respondents say that he does have the stamina. 74% say no. And I know you're a history buff like I am. And so look here on this chart of where Biden's modern day predecessors were in their approval rating at this point in their presidency. And Jake, you see Biden is down there between Donald Trump and Jimmy Carter. You may know that is down in the category of one term presidents. He clearly wants to turn that around and he's got a year to do so, Jake. Yes, this is CNN, Jack Tapa going off on Biden. But there is something that is really shocking here. The number of polls, though Trump is crushing him, when I look at it, why is Biden even still having this high number? That is a question that puzzled me for a very long time when I see this. Now black voters are telling Biden, take a look at this. Tough road ahead. What do you think? I'm actually not surprised by the polling either. I think it's about time Democrats start having the tough conversations about the election, about who's going to replace Joe Biden, it cannot be Kamala Harris and it can't be Governor Newsom. And I also think we also need to start addressing, let's say, the migrant crisis that's affecting almost every major city that calls itself a sanctuary city where I am from, Philadelphia and Chicago. One of the things I watched two days ago was Cardi B's viral rant about how dirty the city is going to become after the budget cuts because of the migrants. And if Cardi B is watching this now, what I would tell her is maybe she should go on X and tweet out to President Xi so that he can come to New York City and maybe Mayor Adams will then clean the city up. I think it's, it's going to take major moves for the actual voters who vote Democrat to start voicing their opinions, even if it's a vote of no confidence of for Joe Biden to show the Democratic Party that we need to start having conversations about who's going to put our best foot forward for the next four years. Such a good point. Maybe they'll clean up the city. Giuliana, what do you think about that? It looks like even Democrats and independent voters are open to the Republican side just because of the past policies of former President Trump. What do you think about that? I think Americans can look back and see were they better off four years ago or are they better off now? I think they know they were better off four years ago. The economy is big for a lot of people. And I think they can see that that President Biden, his policies just haven't brought them, haven't brought their families to where they should be. And I think, as I said, America has been presented as weak. We want to see a strong America and a strong nation. And that's not something that President Biden has put forth. That's something that Republican candidates can put forth. Yes, this is shocking. When I take a look at these polls, I'm even asking myself, how is Biden even doing to be having this number? It is not correct to me. 
I really want to see the people that are standing up to see, say, oh, they can vote for Biden at this level. I understand Trump is crutching him and the media is panicking, which is one reason I've seen they are advocating to remove him. A lot of people, you saw a video I did one day ago, even Cardi B came out, he, she made it clear, I would not endorse any political candidate for reasons we all know they are failures. So it is high time these people understand that the people are tired. If Trump is crutching him on the pools, it is a message to send to them. I don't want to even go back into the persecutions of the former president because it's still happening. CNN, MNBC, they are on the same page. A lot of people are now saying it's because they want Gavin Newsom to come in. Watching another segment, somebody was calling up Kamala Harris. And uh, the way they sounded, like people saying Kamala Harris is poor, cannot defeat any person, is racist to say that because she is black. We cannot criticize her. These are some of the talking points of some people outlining. It is high time. Thank you. As I said, America has been presented as weak. We want to see a strong America and a strong nation. And that's not something that President Biden has put forth. That's something that Republican candidates can put forth. Yeah, Jamil, it, it looks like also when it comes to the voting block of black voters, they're not all saying they're going to vote for Republicans, but a lot of black voters are saying, look, I'll, I'll give the Republicans a shot or I'll just stay at home. But it doesn't seem like there's any interest in the Democratic Party right now. You've been seeing it in Chicago, Philly, California. I 100% agree. I think this is an um, inflection point for both parties. I think right now Republicans may be sitting back and thinking that black voters or minority voters will vote for them just because what's on the ticket for Democrats such as President Biden is such a, a horrible option for their city or to continue voting for the same mayors. I think Republicans need a message to actually go out there so into these communities and, and put out messages to people of color. Yes. For the people that have been standing up to support me on this channel, I see you. I'm passing through a lot on this platform, like posting videos they don't want to recommend. It happened after I reported on Maui videos. If you notice, the channel was booming, doing well. But at this, after that, things started crumbling. So, but we are not stopping. We will continue to update you on what is going on. Like you know this. People were complaining of how they get equals. I'm trying to work on that. On this clip, I believe you're not getting anything of that sort. And please endeavor to share out the videos. That is the only way we can reach new viewers. It is difficult for the people that complain like seeing mainstream media videos. If I don't bring these videos, you will not see what is going on. I bring this so you can see some kind of hidden clips. People don't watch CNN or some of the they don't watch now all this. So when we bring short, short clips, it is because it is that important part that we can criticize or look deep into.